Hey everyone, get hold at uh, Camp Patton Family Compound. So I put the uh, this, the tops of the IBC totes around the trees and stuff to control watering and stuff. But I uh, figured out uh, I needed something a little bit different. So what I did was I ordered some batting for quilt making. And what's interesting is, is that the cotton batting was cheaper than the polyester, hollow, whatever fill type batting stuff. So this is synthetic stuff. So it's cheaper than the synthetic. So um, I got some uh, of the cotton batting. I cut it to 15 inch squares. I went ahead and let me go over to one of these other ones I haven't cut it out yet. This one over here. So on several of these, uh, you can see the uh, circle, the mold circle around the uh, the thread on cap. You know, it's a little bit thicker there. So I went ahead and cut that on that outside circle line around there out. So um, I wound up with it looking like this. And then I put the uh, slip, uh, slip the, uh, the batting up uh, from the outside to the center and it made a little cross in it too. So I put the batting around the, the trunk and everything. And that'll keep, that does multiple things. It keeps weeds from growing up through it. When I'm spraying water in there, the water's not digging into the soil around the, uh, the, uh, the tree roots and stuff. Cause those are, those are planted this year. And so I don't want to disturb the roots around that point where it's trying to develop more roots. And the, uh, and so it, and it lessens the impact on the soil. Plus it, um, it acts like a mulch topping for uh, keeping the soil beneath it damper longer. So I can always add on top of that, I can always put some uh, wood chips on top of that, which I probably will be doing when the, uh, we get the uh, cottonwood trees there brought down. And so I, I put this one down just the way it was before. I just cut the circle and uh, stuffed it the, uh, in there. Did the same thing. That this is the way I originally put it down. This one here, I thought I'd experiment and I turned the plastic over. I think I'm going to turn it back. It, um, it's, uh, you know, I don't want to, I, I could take the, uh, the, take it off heat it up on the driveway with the uh, uh, weed burner just to make it soft and lay flat. But um, I think I'll just turn it around and put the uh, the rocks on it and stuff. So we'll see how that goes. But anyway, so I got three done. I got seven more to do. I have uh, enough material to make uh, 12 of the... Uh, of the batting inserts on it. So I'll get this here all done. Now, the only time I, uh, some of these I'm turning up, one I'm turning upside down or two of them down here that I'm going to keep upside down is the ones where I cut the uh, it bigger. So it actually um, makes a trough and that works out great because um, I went and drilled, drilled some little holes uh, across here on, on each side there where it would cat collect water. And that way, when I, when I water it, the water that sprays out into the other areas here drips down through farther away from the tree to give it, um, you know, water the out, outlying roots a little bit. But this poor thing here got wind blown and wind burned bad with that, uh, that wind storm that came through uh, two days ago. I mean, it really just, uh, cause this one here, you know, cause when the wind was blowing this way, it got hit some, but when the wind was blowing that way, it really got hammered, uh, hard. So, all right. So that's what I'm doing here in the, uh, garden and, but the, uh, the pumpkins are doing great. The pumpkin, uh, this one here was bouncing around. I was worried about it, but it is do doing great. Uh, the rest of the pumpkins uh, survived just fine. Unfortunately, the rabbits got out here um, early this morning, late last night, and ate up five more of the cantaloupe plants. 
and ate the top off of this one. So this one may or may not do anything. But yeah, so I got two good uh, cantaloupes left and we'll see what happens. All right, oh, a little update here. The, the peas here are doing good. And um, trying to see, I know on the other side I can find a lot of the uh, pea pods, but there are some here that are having pea pods on this side here too. They just blend in so well, it makes it hard to find the pea pods, but they are, uh, there are pea pods growing on it here. And uh, so the pea, peas are looking pretty good down in here. Now over here, now on this one over here, um, I took down the fence out there by where they're going to be doing the, you know, on the front of the property by the, uh, oh, by the cottonwoods and I brought the, the small matching panel in here. So I'm going to let the peas grow up on that and, uh, see if that uh, helps them out. Oh, in fact, yeah, yeah, I got some, uh, pea pods right here, several of them here. So, but there are the, uh, some of those are just absolutely loaded, especially the ones on the uh, north side. I guess they're better protected because the wind generally comes from the south side, but I can, oh, I can see some pea pods right here. See, once, once I walked around, I started seeing pea pods. So, yeah, they seem to be growing on the north side of the plants. So, all right, so that's what I'm uh, doing out here. I do have uh, one, two, three, four. I got five of the um, butternut, which have survived. And are starting to thrive. I put the uh, pumpkin juice on them, and they're uh, doing a bit better. So, anyways, that's what's going on out here in the garden so far. Oh, and I do have update on that, something else here. <laughs> yeah, more more stuff out here. The uh, these are uh, the big beef, not the big boy, the big beef uh, tomatoes. And uh, they're doing pretty good. And this was the final uh, replacement one for the uh, gold cot, uh, apric dwarf apricot. And it's um, budding out really good. Uh, this one here was the first one I got uh, from Home Depot. This is the, what is it again? This is the, uh, yeah, the Blemheim. And it, uh, it just, you know, it's kind of, I'm not sure it's called struggling. Uh, some of the leaves are turning brown on the edges. Others are coming out new. So hopefully it's putting all of its energy into setting roots. This is the uh, gold cot that came that was broken. That was broken here. And so I'm not sure how that's doing. I haven't seen anything else there. The leaves haven't fallen off of it yet. So it does have some nutrients coming up, but it's uh, doing okay there. As, you know, I guess okay. It's uh, hopefully it's just putting all of its energy into developing roots. And, of course, this is the first one I got from Stark Brothers that was, you know, I mean, the, root, the roots down below were just totally butchered back to nothing, and there was no greenery showing on, on it when I did the scratch test. Although it looks like there might be a little bit of greenery, you know, you know, yeah, it looks like it might be pulling stuff up into it. So not sure if that's going to make it or not. That was, they refunded me the money on that. So I don't care about it. All right. All right. So with that, let me get out of here. Uh, my lettuce out here. You can see the lettuce over there. Lettuce is doing great. And uh, garlic, eh, not so great, but yeah. All right, folks, we'll uh, talk to you later.